Our top story tonight, President Biden visits the Valley, delivering a speech on democracy and his late friend, Senator John McCain. Cronkite News reporter Sydney Whitty was at the event. President Biden announced he approved federal funding for a library and museum in honor of the late Senator John McCain, whom he spoke very highly of. He also highlighted the importance of bipartisanship. Public officials, former football stars, and Biden supporters gathered to hear the president speak on John McCain's legacy. Before the president took the podium, Cindy McCain took a moment to honor her late husband and President Biden. While John and he differed on many political issues through their respective careers, the great causes that brought them together and were most important to our nation are shared in this venture. The president reflected fondly on their friendship. The hammer and tong debates we'd have in the Senate, we'd argue, we're like two brothers, we'd argue like hell. <laughs> I mean, really go out one another, then we'd go to lunch together. No, not a joke. Or John ride home with me. I mean, that, we, we travel the world together. President Biden encouraged citizens to stand up for democracy and its institutions. We should all remember, democracies don't have to die at the end of a rifle. They can die when people are silent, when they fail to stand up or condemn the threats to democracy. Biden closed his speech by highlighting that we should hold ourselves accountable. Now's our time to continue to choose and secure a sacred cause of the American democracy. I know we can meet this moment. John knew we could meet this moment. He believed that so many patriots before him did the character, destiny, in our own lives, in the life of this nation. He believed in us. That's what we see in the McCain Institute and Library. The president repeatedly described the United States in one word, possibilities. He also encouraged all U.S. citizens to go out and vote. In Tempe, Sydney Whitty, Cronkite News.